Hi everyone, today is going to be my April favorites and the first three things are all from my shower. If you remember in my last haul video, I picked up a couple things from Lush and one of those was the uh, Sultana of Soap. This soap is so nice and moisturizing, but it did have all like the crushed nuts and dried berries on the top. So in that video, I asked if anyone had any recommendations for um, helping me not clog my drain with all these particles. A very nice subscriber left me a link um, to a company called Fortune Cookie Soap. And this product is their exfoliating bath saver. So the idea is, you know, when bar soaps get to be too small to handle, you can just slip them in this little pouch, pull the drawstring, and it kind of has a little bit of a rough texture, but nothing that's going to irritate. It's very, um, very nice for exfoliating. And so you drop the little um, pieces of your soap in there and then work it into a lather. And I will say that this helps soaps become a really rich lather. Um, so that's what I've been doing with the Sultana of soap. I'll just break it up into little chunks and then I'll put those chunks in here and use them up until the uh, chunk disappears. And then I can take this out and clean out the nuts and berries. And then once I do that, I just toss this guy in the washing machine and it's just like a normal wash cloth. So it's really uh, low maintenance and it's been really a great combination, the Sultana of soap and this little fortune cookie um, bath accessory. I will leave the link to this below because I think even if it's not like a lush soap, you know, even if it's just like a normal like Dove bar soap, this is really handy. This next item is one that like just got in this. I've only had it for about a week and I thought about saving it for next month's favorite so I could have it for a little longer. But with the warm weather, I know a lot of people are already self tanning. So maybe you're looking for a good body scrub. My favorite all time body scrub is from Aveda and it's their Caribbean therapy, but it's quite pricey. So I was thinking like, oh, it's like 40 some dollars for a jar of it. And I was like, oh, do I want to spend that much? My mom and I were walking through Ulta and she said that she had been using this and it is from the company Tree Hut and this is the Shea Sugar Body Scrub and it was on sale for $5 at Ulta. So I thought I would give it a try and it is really, really nice. The um, scent I got is Brazilian Nut. I'm not really sure what Brazilian Nut is, but to me it smells like like a really strong hazelnut coffee. So when I use this in the morning, it really fills my entire shower and just really perks me up and it does a great job of exfoliating. So if you're looking for a body exfoliator, I would recommend this to you. I have gotten some question, questions from people asking if I'm still using the Skin 79 BB Cream in the gold packaging. And yes, that is still my daily foundation. My um, everyday foundation routine has not changed that much. I will say on days where I want my foundation to last all day. So if I'm, you know, waking up in the morning, going for a full day of work and then going out at night, I am using the um, Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream. This is so good for oily skin people. It is very, it sets to almost a powdery finish and I don't even feel like I have to set it with a powder and it lasts absolutely all day. So. I'm thinking that maybe I'll do a, another foundation routine so that you guys can see how this product looks on my skin. And the brush that I have been using to apply it, I had been using my fingers. Um, and then I tried it with the Sigma Round Kabuki F82 brush. And I knew I liked this, but I didn't know how much I liked it until I let my mother borrow it. And she had it for a few days and I was you know, I had really grown accustomed to it. And this is a wonderful brush. It kind of gives a more heavy application, but it doesn't look unnatural. And this brush is just awesome for blending it in. So if you have not tried out, I know a lot of people have done reviews on the Sigmax line from Sigma, but these brushes are fantastic. In the beginning of April, I do not know what was going on, but I had the worst breakout all around my mouth. I think I even mentioned that in one of my videos. Um, don't really know what was up, if it was just like a hormone thing or I hadn't been eating very well. Not 100% sure. Um, I just felt like my normal techniques of using concealer were not cutting it. So I did a quick search in YouTube and a video from Lisa Eldridge popped up and I, if I can find the video again, I will link it below. Instead of using her fingers or anything like that, she was using a MAC 217 brush to apply concealer to a model. So I pulled out my blending brush from Sigma. This is the E25. And I used that in my, I've been using it with two concealers, the Erase Paste from Benefit and then this Revlon Photo Ready Concealer. So I get some of the product on the tip of the brush and then I would place it on my blemish and just kind of dab it there and then really take a light hand and then just kind of blend around the edges into the rest of my face makeup. 
and that has really that I will never use my finger for concealer for spot um, treatment with blemishes again the um, either the MAC 217 or the Sigma E25 just really is great for getting a seamless, for getting the coverage you need and then helping it to have a seamless transition into the rest of your face makeup. So if you haven't tried that, um, I would recommend checking her video out and then trying it for yourself. My favorite blush for the month of April is the Physicians Formula Happy Booster Blush in the color Warm, and it is just a warm peach. It's what I'm wearing now, and I just feel like it really perks up my complexion and just kind of livens it up a little bit, and it's a very easy to use blush. It's not too, you get pigment definitely, but it's not too pigmented where you have to be like super precise with anything. Just a really easy to use blush. A Real Techniques brush that I got at the beginning of the month is their stippling brush. And I have to say that this is the best brush for applying uh, cream blush that I have ever tried. And you guys know from my last favorites video, I believe that the MAC Britwit has become like a really nice base for some of my favorite blushes. So I've been using this brush to apply it. And what's nice, this brush is sold separately so you don't have to buy any of like the big kits. So um, I bought this at Ulta, so I would definitely recommend checking this out. In April, I tried to make a concerted effort to use all, some of all the millions of samples. I have this little bag that I keep in my bathroom, and you know, like, you know, with Sephora or gifts with purchases, you get all these little sample products, and I just dump them in there. So this month, I really tried to use some, and a couple standout products were the Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Eye Base. I had used another eye primer from Tarte that came with the... True Blood Palette and I was not impressed. That one did not work for me at all. It had a lot of creasing. So I didn't have very high expectations for this, but what is awesome, I get no creasing with this, but it also is like a pinkish color and it's very opaque on the eye. Um, a lot of times when I'm using lighter eyeshadows, I will put down a normal primer and then I'll put my MAC Painterly Paint Pot on top to kind of even out my eyes. This does that all in one step. Um, evens out and gives me that blank canvas and I think that pink is really brightening so any light shadows that I put on on top of it really pop so um, I've actually I don't think I've seen this in stores I think this came with a QVC purchase and this was one of like the little samples that came with it so I will be looking for this when it comes out in stores Another sample I tried out this month was the Makeup Forever Smoky Lash, and I actually really like this. I haven't heard too much good or bad about this, but I like it. It's just a teeny bit clumpy, but in a good way, and I feel like it gives me a lot of volume. For eyeshadow, I only had one standout product, and that was one of the Buxom Stay There eyeshadows, and I feel like I had another one of these in last month's video. This is in the shade Pug, and it is just a beautiful... Uh, kind of like a little bit gunmetal, a little bit taupey, and it's very shimmery and lightweight. And these just blend out like a dream and last all day. So I've been putting this all over my lid and then using tees from the Naked Palette to blend it up. This is what I'm wearing currently. And then I use a little bit of Foxy, which is that kind of creamy yellow matte highlighter shade. So it's a very easy look, but I feel it's incredibly polished and flattering. So like I mentioned, in the beginning of the month, I had that terrible breakout all around my mouth. So the last thing I wanted to do was put something like Max Russian Red on my lips and just have to deal with that. So I went with incredibly neutral colors on my lips during those first few weeks. And the first thing is something I got for Christmas in like a sample pack, and it is Clinique's Chubby Stick in whole, let me see, whole lot of honey. And this is what I have on my lips right now. These are incredibly moisturizing. They do give some good pigment. And I think this shade is just really nice. Would kind of be one of those like go with anything type shades. And the next favorite kind of in that same neutrally line is a product that I purchased when all the new stuff came out in the drugstore kind of in, was it the fall or like the right at the beginning of the winter. And this is from L'Oreal. It's one of their Color Riche balms. And this is in the color Caramel Comfort. Kind of similar to a whole lot of latte, but this has some shimmer in it and it's another just really flattering shade. So these were really nice when I didn't want to draw too much attention to the lower half of my face, but still help my lips look healthy and shiny. Once my breakup finally cleared out, I went back to some more um, bright and pigmented lip products. The first thing I am just so excited about, it is the Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment in the color Coral. If you didn't watch my, I think it was my spring favorite lip products, this was in here, and it gives so much pigment, such a flattering color. 
I have not yet seen it in stores, but when it does come out, um, you should swatch this and I think you'll be really surprised by how much pigment just a lip balm can give. I feel like I had really great luck with lip products um, this month. Another lip product that made it into that spring favorites video was the Smashbox Be Legendary Lipstick in Posy Pink. This is such a pretty, flattering, peachy shade, and the lipstick formula is awesome. I think I said in some video, I feel like I said it goes on kind of thick, but within just a couple minutes, it just really seeps in and just makes your lips feel so comfortable, and this color is so pretty. Here, just a really quick swatch of those four lip products I liked in April, and the first one is the Clinique Chubby Stick in Whole Lot of Honey is up top, and then next is the L'Oreal Le Balm. L'Oreal Balm, sorry, and that's in the color Caramel Comfort. Below that is the Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment in Coral, and hopefully that, I just can't believe how much pigment that thing has, it's really cool. And then the last one is um, Smashbox in Posy Pink. Hands down, my favorite polish in April is this new one from Deborah Lippman, and this is in Ray of Light, I believe. Yes, Ray of Light, and it is a flecky polish, I believe, flaky, flecky, and it does have those like flex that are kind of a duochrome and it is such an interesting and beautiful polish. I do have a favorite YouTuber for the month of April and she is actually meant to include her in last month's but it slipped my mind so I'm including her here. She's not a traditional beauty YouTuber but she does have a lot of videos that pertain to beauty and her name is Joy and she runs a blog Joy's Health that I will list below and she is a holistic nutritionist. So a lot of her videos are you know, about nutrition, but a lot of it is focused on beauty and how what we eat translates into how our skin looks. I'm just going to read just a couple of her videos that just pop up off top. Chemicals in your beauty products. Uh, another video is three supplements for beautiful skin. Another video is three foods to fight skin redness. Nail polish, natural nail polish, and remover that works. She has a wonderful taste in nail polish. She is just beautiful and I follow her on Twitter and she's just very inspiring. Her blog is just filled with amazing recipes. Um, one of the things I love is making my own smoothies in the mornings and I use a lot of her recipes. So definitely recommend checking Joy out. All right, so those are all my favorites for the month of April. I had a really great month and I, I have so many ideas for this channel, so I'm excited for some warm weather and to be more creative with different tutorials. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you in my next video.